My name is Jeffrey Deskovic, and I spent 16 years in prison prior to being proven innocent through DNA testing. For an innocent man, uh, everyday life in prison is a, is, is a battle uh, psychologically within yourself. You have to repeatedly fight off uh, feelings of hopelessness, helplessness, depression, thoughts of suicide pop into your mind. In many ways, you're fighting a psychological battle against yourself as much as you are against a district attorney. In addition to that, uh, you have to avoid the obstacles, the, the, the staff, the other prisoners, um, the guards, all of which are obstacles to remaining focused on the clear, important goal, proving your innocence and therefore regaining your freedom. In terms of what was uh, on my mind when my attorney told me that I was going to be getting out the next day, the first I didn't believe it because the state always fought me and won. But once it finally sunk in and it became real, my immediate concern was that something was going to happen between that day and the next which was going to cause the district attorney to change your mind and I was going to remain wrongfully in prison. I still remember when I walked out of the courtroom and, and was free. There was a really blue sky, there wasn't a cloud in, in sight, and everybody who was there just started clapping because I had survived something, a really long and traumatic ordeal, and I had overcome and had proved my innocence. I started a nonprofit organization called the Jeffrey Deskovic Foundation to fight wrongful convictions. I was very conscious of the fact that there were many, many women who I was metaphorically left behind. We fight wrongful convictions through raising awareness, through seeking changes in the law to prevent wrongful convictions. We work on freeing people who already have been wrongfully convicted. We help exonerees reintegrate back into society once they're released. Society should care about wrongfully convicted prisoners for a variety of reasons. Firstly, it could happen to them. Last year, 137 people were exonerated. According to the National Registry of Exonerations, more than 1,600 people uh, from the early 90s forward have been uh, wrongfully convicted. Why aren't I out on an island someplace on the beach sleep, uh, sipping Mai Tais? Because as fun as that would be, and it is tempting, and I do have the means, the bigger moral obligation that I feel, which would prevent me from doing that, is I know that there are many many women who are still wrongfully imprisoned uh, throughout this country and as long as they are I can't I can't rest